What's up guys, my name is Philip, and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about how to get a boring footage to look more cinematic. So the other night I filmed my friend walking up some stairs, walking through a bridge, skateboarding, just some regular boring stuff, nothing spectacular. After upon further review, I put those clips into post and came up with something like this. So let's jump into Premiere and I'll show you guys the techniques I use to make this a little bit more cinematic. So I already have clips ready for you guys just to speed up the process. They're going to be shots of my friend from the back, uh, different camera angles like from the bottom and the side. The first thing that I usually do is make it look widescreen or the black bars. So I already have an adjustment layer ready for you guys and then what you want to do is set up a crop onto it and then for the top and bottom you want to change the values to 12% and that'll give you that widescreen look in the black bars on the top and bottom. And just a disclaimer, you should not do this way if you're working on a high-end project. I'm only doing this for YouTube purposes because I have clips I want to be in widescreen and I also have clips that I want to be in full screen. Um, the reason you don't want to do this is when you add those black bars, it's still going to be a 16 by 9 ratio and if something goes wrong with the export, um, you can essentially lose data and then those black bars can look a little blotchy. Uh, they won't look good. So never ever do this on a higher end project. So as you can see here, uh, I already changed the playback to give it the, the true anamorphic widescreen look. And for some reason it didn't show up in my screen recording, but what you want to do is go into your sequence and sequence settings and then change your vertical to 816 rather than 1080. And what that'll do is compress it down a little bit. And when you export it, it'll give you those black bars, but everything, all the data will be compressed for the screen, uh, for the shot you want it to be, so you won't lose anything. All right, so let's talk about color grading. Um, you just wanna get adjustment layer and then drag it along the clips you want to apply it on. So essentially, color grading is like when you're editing a photo on Lightroom. It's all the tweaks with the exposure, colors, and all that good stuff. So, as you can see, I already have a color grade I applied. So what you want to do is go to your color tab at the top. And the first thing you're going to see is basic correction. And that's where you can do all like the minor adjustments with like the shadows, highlights, exposure, contrast. And then when you go down one, it's going to be creative and that's where you can add a LUTs. So a LUTs is pretty much a preset or you can kind of think of it as a filter. And you want to make sure you want to apply the LUTs on the creative because on there you can adjust the intensity of it. If you apply the LUTs at 100%, like it's not going to look realistic, it's going to look really fake and weird. If you do it on basic, you can't change that. So whatever LUTs you applied into the basic section, it's just going to stay at that. And finally, there's the color wheel. You'll be spending a lot of time there mostly to do color correction and color matching each of your clips. Um, I'll go over that in another video just because there's just way too much information that I can go on and on about. So finally, what you guys been all waiting for is how do you get the extra buttery smooth slow motion? So a lot of people, they've been using slow motion to get like their cinematic shots. You don't really have to, but it kind of just adds like that extra fling. 
So first what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you're editing in a 24p timeline. And then for your camera setting, you wanna set it to 60 frames per second or higher. A lot of people, they use 120 frames as well, but that's if you're doing stuff for like sports or action and you wanna get like that really, really slow, slow motion. But usually I just stick around 60. So you wanna right click on the clip, you wanna apply the slow motion and then you go to speed duration. Then you wanna change the 100% into 40%. And the reason why it works is mathematically 60 frames times 40% is going to equal 24. So if you're shooting in 60, you're not going to get any frame duplication and everything is just going to be really buttery smooth. Another thing I like to do is for the time interpolation, I change frame blending into optical flow. That just gives it that extra smoothness. Hope this video was beneficial. Just go out and shoot something or anything and apply these tips to make your boring footage look more cinematic. And that's it for today. And as always, thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.